This next song is called How to Arrange Fingerstyle Guitar Songs. To arrange a song and solo fingerstyle guitar, and I'm gonna teach you my method of doing so. And it's pretty simple once you break down the steps. Okay, so the main, the two main components in fingerstyle guitar songs, and that is the melody and the harmony. All right, melody and harmony. You just need to get your brain wrapped around these two, fit them together, and then you have your arrangement. All right, easier said than done, of course, but let's break it down. Melody refers to the part of the song that's the most memorable that you can sing out, and it is comprised of individual notes lined up linearly. So for example, this is a melody. Right, I can sing it out. Na, 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 na. Or another melody. Na, 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 na. All right, so that's a, just some melodies I made up on the spot. But you get the idea. Now, harmony refers to the chords that accompany that melody. So for this melody that we just did, ma, na, 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 na. All right, I changed it a little bit because I can't remember, but you can play it with this harmony underneath. Na, 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 na. So you see, I have an underlying harmony that is accompanying the melody that I just improvised, all right? And um, the thing about harmony is it's not so memorable because usually you don't remember a song by just this. That's the harmony. It accompanies the melody, which is more memorable. Maybe something like na 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 na. Right, then you can remember na 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 na. Okay, so now you have an idea of what melody and harmony is like. And now you need to be able to understand what is the melody. The key component is the melody of a song. And the key to understanding, and when you listen to a song to be able to immediately process it in your brain and play it out on the guitar is solfege. Now, I did a whole video on solfege that you can check out. But um, basically, what it means is that you are putting sung syllables to scale degrees. So you have your E major scale, so we're in the key of E major. For each of these notes, you put a syllable to it. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. And if I have a melody, something like la, 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 la. In the solfege, it would be do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, mi. Na 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 So so la so mi re mi So if you get a hearing a melody you can immediately put it into solfege and you can immediately play it on the guitar So that that is a, a skill that you need to develop So I've got that video there to help you out and all the videos that I've been teaching um, is aimed to improve your musicianship to give you the tools to become a better guitarist and better gu musician all right, but basically, once you have the grasp of solfege and you can figure out melodies, even if you don't have solfege, if you are talented or gifted and you can listen to a melody, na 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 na, and play it back out, then good for you. All right. Then the second part will be fitting in the harmony that accompanies the melody. All right, and in order to teach you this, I'm going. We're gonna use a real song, and the song that we're gonna pick is "Odd Lang Syne," which is a traditional folk English folk song, um, Scottish, I believe. Um, that you may or may not know, depending on where in the world that you are. But the song goes like this. Na na da da na na da da. Ba da da na 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 da da 
da da da da da da da And if you're able to get it in solfege, then you can immediately play it on the guitar. So do ti do mi re do re mi re do do mi so la la so mi mi do re do re mi re do la la so do. All right, that's the melody. And to fit in the harmony. The, the melody note within that, the, the phrase of the song that you are playing, most likely that melody note that is emphasized is a note within the chord. So let's take a look at the first part, right? So, do, ti, do. You notice, do, this note, do, is played multiple times, three times within that phrase, and it's also, we are hanging on that note for very long. So that tells us that the do note is very important. So, do, ti, do. And then we just look at our chords and find which chord has the do note in it. So, because do is chord number one, so most likely this will be chord number one. And indeed, it is. So, do, ti, do. So, your chord underlying it. And so, do, ti, do. And then you just play the chord underneath. Okay? And then the next part. Mi, re, do, re. Notice how emphasis is on re, the second scale degree here. And then we just find out which chord has that re note in it. And then um, you can you can try out an error, but if you are familiar with you know chord progressions, you'll be able to figure out which one it is rather than just try an error. So this one, the re note, it's in chord number five. So we have. Here, so, so do ti do mi re do re. You notice how I immediately switch to chord number five, B major chord, and it has this re note inside it. So that's how I figure out what the chords are. And then mi re do do mi so. All right, so just that part, mi re do. Here, Do is emphasized again, and let's just go back to our one chord. We keep things simple here. Mi, Re, Do, Do, Mi, So, La. And now La is emphasized here. Chord, uh, note number six within the scale. And uh, the chord that has this note, it could be your sixth chord. Mi, Mi, So, La. Right, but it doesn't sound so good to me. So instead, I'm going to use chord number four, which is your A major chord. So, mi so la, and we have it here. So do ti do mi re do re mi re do do mi so la. All right, and that is me running through in warp speed how I do my arrangements. But if you want to learn how I'm actually playing the chords in this position, in all these different positions, depending on where the melody is, check out this video over here, um, where these two videos, in fact, where I break down how you can play chords in all over the fretboard and transpose them in different shapes. And that will unlock your musicianship and your technique on the guitar and you can arrange fingerstyle guitar songs on the go immediately, okay? So let me show you how I arrange Odd Lang Sign on the guitar. Also adding some improvised tinkering around the chord. It doesn't interfere with the melody, in fact it elevates the melody up because these are less pronounced than the melody. So the chorus.
And the beauty of this method, as opposed to learning a song from tabs or even notes, is that it's all based on this concept of understanding the melody and the harmony. And you can change it to any key that you want. So transposing. Shifting it up two frets. You can even, because you know the melody is so, so, do, ti, do, mi, re, do, re, you can change it to some other strange key, right? That's, that's very far away from it. So let's try an A major. You have your A major scale. And then from there, with the solfege knowledge, you can play the melody out in this key. Do, ti, do, mi, re, do, re. And then you have your chords, the same chords. So, all right, and you can you can play it in any key. So that's how I arrange my songs on fingerstyle guitar. And you do need to have an understanding of melody, solfege, chord positions, and I have videos on all of these things and improvisation as well. So do check out um, the playlist that I have of guitar lessons, fingerstyle for the world, and you'll be well on your way to becoming a great musician. And the beauty of this is that you can create you can arrange any song that you want. So let's try a different song. Let's try um, Amazing Grace in this key. Let's see, uh, let's try this key. All right, it's an unusual key, D flat. Mind you, I never played this before. All right, so there you have it. Um, I never played it in this key before. I've played Amazing Grace before because I'm familiar with the song, but never in this key before. And you see, because I just know the melody and I know the harmony that comes along with it and I know all my chord positions, I'm able to just create songs on the spot. All right? So I hope that has been helpful for you. Um, help me to help you by subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell because I'm very eager to teach you even more, helping guitarists around the world become better musicians. So it really encourages me um, by support. If you support me by subscribing to my channel, supports my music as well. Let me know what else you want me to teach. And until next time, I will see you again.